Hello, and welcome back to Talking Freight, the weekly freight and transportation management series brought to you by Saracis, a third-party logistics company focusing on transportation management technology and services. In today's Talking Freight episode, we'll be starting our series on all things full truckload. This mode is often seen as the most often neglected managed mode of transportation. However, the more you know about full truckload, the more you can strategically approach this mode and lower your overall transportation spend, which, as you know, goes right to your company's bottom line. At Saracis, we understand that it can be difficult for shippers to identify the best way to achieve cost savings, reduce risk, and ensure optimal use of time in the procurement of transportation. Much attention is devoted to the less than truckload, or LTL, shipping mode when it comes to rooting out inefficiencies and costs, as well as best practice education. However, there is an opportunity for shippers with guidance and more knowledge to unlock savings and efficiency through the use of full truckload shipping. All right, so let's talk some full truckload shipping. First, let's go about defining full truckload shipping. As we head into a series of full truckload shipping, let's make sure we're all on the same page. Full truckload shipping refers to the use of an entire truck for a given shipment. Different definitions may exist depending on the carrier used, the type of shipment, and could include the following terms. Dry van, backhauls, partial truckload, flatbed, refrigerated, intermodal, and often you'll hear from time to time, a whole dang truck. Now that's not an official term, but it's the full truckload. You get the idea. And full truckload shipping rates also do vary between these types of full truckload terms. But full truckload in general is subject to three common maximum limit roles, including shipping 44,000 pounds of product, accommodating 48 standard pallets, or shipping 2,500 cubed feet of product. Additionally, full truckload shipments are often viewed as the best option when freight weighs more than 15,000 pounds or requires more space than 10 pallets. So what are the key differences between full truckload and other over-the-road modes? Well, there are many different types or modes of transportation for shipping freight. These include things such as LTL, rail, air, parcel, and more. When these modes take place on the ground, they are known as over-the-road modes. And the dominant forms of over-the-road transportation are full truckload, parcel, also known as small package, and LTL. Full truckload uses strict routes, shipping products from point A to point B, and using the full space and weight capacity of a given truck. The key differences between full truckload and other OTO, OTR modes, over the road modes, drive the single shipment nature of full truckload. Although this provides several benefits, it also comes with challenges. So let's look at the benefits and challenges of full truckload shipping. First, Let's address the benefits. Full truckload shipments are often subject to faster transit times, fewer risks, and better shipping rates. However, full truckload comes with a few challenges as well, including the need to better pack merchandise, accept rigid delivery and shipping schedules, and problems procuring full truckload availability and higher than other uh, mode rates as well. However, shippers can overcome these challenges with a few best practices, which include the following. When you have enough items to fill an entire truck. When you prefer a whole truck dedicated to your goods. When the freight is time sensitive. Or when the weight makes it more cost effective than less than truckload. Other modes of transportation are changing expectations for the future of full truckload freight. The electronic logging device, or ELD mandate, Mother Nature's wrath during hurricane season and overall increased consumer demand are pushing more shippers to use as many modes as possible to ensure the timely and cost-effective delivery of freight. As a result, demand for full truckload is expected to climb and innovative alternative modes like rail are starting to take on characteristics of full truckloads, such as the futuristic cold rail technology. 
Moreover, more shippers will seek to use freight consolidation to tap into the resources of full truckload freight. Full truckload represents an opportunity and vulnerability in the U.S. transportation network, but shippers who take the time to understand the facts and predictions surrounding full truckload can position their enterprises to overcome issues within the capacity crunch, rising rates, or anything else that may occur in the industry. Therefore, Saracis has chosen to devote this intense series of videos to full truckload and its implications for shippers seeking to operate within tight profit margins. Well, that's it for this week's episode of Talking Freight. Have any questions about full truckload that we can answer? Go ahead and put those in the comments below and we'll answer with our expertise. And if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit subscribe and the little bell icon as well so you uh, are notified each time we publish a video every Friday. And as always, don't forget to like us here on social media. We're constantly sharing great industry information. And lastly, if you'd like to get these videos emailed directly to you, well, you can sign up and receive our blog posts as well by going to saracis.com. And when this box shows up like it does here at the bottom of this screen, put in your email and you're subscribed. That's it for us. Have a great weekend.